Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to supply multiple set of data to a step. So first of all, I'm going to create a new feature file. And let me call it as login.feature. So first, first the feature keyword, user login feature. Then I will use the scenario keyword to define a scenario. Then given keyword for the precondition. the application then when keyword now assume that I want to supply multiple set of data with this with a then set so that can be done by using the concept of data table so you need to supply the data in the form of a table, which can be created with the help of a type symbol. So just like this, username, password. Similarly, I'm going to create multiple cells. So here I have added three more rows. So data table concept says that you can supply the data by forming a data in the form of row and column. So you have rows, and column you can have any number of rows and any number of columns and just uh, open it in different editor like this and here i can use the pretty format to align it properly and after that the then keyword Okay, so this is our feature file. Now, similarly, I'm going to create a runner for this feature file. So here I'll just do a copy paste of this file and call it as user login. Now using the feature file also you can, sorry, using the runner also you can generate this step definition for a feature file. So first of all, let me remove this. And Change the feature file name. So there is a flag called dry run using which you can generate the step definition for a feature file from a runner. By default, it is set to false. I'm going to just set it to true. Okay. And run this runner. So if you look at the console, it has generated this step definition for you. And as you can see here, there are some special character coming. So in order to avoid and make it readable format, you can pass one more parameter that is monochrome equal to true. So run as. So now you have this step definition. So I'm going to copy this. And uh, create one more Java class login step definition and inside this I will supply this values import toward the error I'm going to just skip the given and then step. Now here in this step, as you can see here, the argument is a data table. So it is just similar to that of Excel sheet, that is row and column. So first we need to retrieve the value from the data table. So I will use the argument name. Let me call it as table. Okay. So table dot row. As you can see here, the return type of this is a list of list of string that means it is going to convert 
this row in a list this row in a list this row in a list and so on okay so this will be list list of string and let me call it data Now in order to retrieve the data, I will use the for loop. So for data. So this is for the outer list and one more loop for the inner list. That means the outer loop will be iterate for the, the outer list and inner loop will iterate to the inner list so for each string str1 in str and here i'm going to display the value Okay, so once this is done, we need to update our runner with the proper package. So here we have already put the step definition file in the same package and I will run it. So currently at the console it is not printing anything and this is happening because we have kept the dry run as true. I am going to change it to false and let me run it. So you can see at the console it has printed all the value which is coming from the feature file. So in this manner you can pass the multiple set of data in the form of a row and column from the feature file to the step definition.